Yeah, so where do we start from? Um, okay, I want to study in Poland. Can you help me? Hello, welcome back, guys. My name is Dara Simi, and I am your study abroad body. So, if you're looking forward to studying in a university outside your own country, you are welcome to join this family. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you for watching my videos. So, I've gotten a couple of questions like, I want to study in Poland, can you help me to apply? No, I cannot help you to apply because I am not a study abroad agent. I don't help people to apply to universities. I'm only here to share my knowledge. I'm only here to put you guys through when it comes to applying to universities outside your own country. But I'm going to make this video just to summarize the necessary things that you need to do when it comes to applying to Poland. First thing that you need to do if you're applying either to Poland or even any other country is to get all of your documents from your previous university. So you already have your bachelor's degree, get your bachelor's certificate, get your um, bachelor's degree transcript also from your previous university. So after getting this document and I also want you to know that for Poland, Poland does not accept HND for master's degree and you must have a CGPA of at least 3.0 out of 5.0. So after meeting all of these requirements, go to study.gov.pl. I made some videos when it comes to applying to universities in Poland. I'm going to link up all these videos in the description box. So go to study.gov.pl. Use the filter option to locate the school that match your area of interest. Go to the school website and then look at all the requirements. Be sure that you have all of these requirements before applying. If you are not clear about any information that is written on the university website, please do well to send the university an email to respond. I also sent um, my university an email when I was applying um, in order to get clarification on something. So just send them an email. They are going to respond to your email in order to get clarification before applying. So after getting all of the requirements after meeting all of the requirements for admission please proceed to apply i know one of the requirements for poland and even most Schengen countries is that you have to authenticate your documents but for poland not all universities require you to authenticate your documents before applying some university will tell you that you have to authenticate your document before you can even apply to the university at all while for some university you can still go ahead and apply without authenticating your document but when you are coming into poland you have to bring the authenticated document like the authenticated document the physical copy of the authenticated document when you are coming into poland so you can also email your school to get clarification on this so that you can save yourself some stress or force traveling down to um abuja for those that are nigerians and for those that studied in nigeria so instead of you first traveling to abuja to authenticate your documents apply to your university and then go back to abuja again to go and um submit your documents for visa so you can just do all of those things when you are applying for your visa so please do well to reach out to your school but in case your school still insists that you have to authenticate your document before you can apply at all then you don't have a choice you just have to do what they want when it comes to paying your application fee i know it is a bit difficult to pay if you are paying from nigeria if you don't have a dollar card the advice i'm going to give you is that if you have a family member or a friend that stays in poland you can send them the naira equivalent and then they are going to pay on your behalf please don't send me a message if i can pay for you i cannot pay for you because if you send me the naira equivalent i also need to look for where i can exchange the money to zuwati so the money is just going to be useless in my account since i cannot spend naira here so but if you have someone that can help you do that or even in another country it's not even that the family or friend has to be in poland even if it's in another european country or even north america it is much easier in all these developed countries to make international transactions unlike nigeria because you have to have dollar card and the maintenance fee on dollar card is enough to even get you some things to eat after paying your application fee wait for them um, and then get their decision so after you've been admitted the next thing you need to do is to pay the deposit whatever deposit they request from you most university will request for first semester 
Pay the deposit, deposit because you are going to need the receipt of the deposit when you are applying for your visa and also it is the deposit that will determine if the school is going to send you your admission documents which you are also going to need for your visa application. So once you've gone through all this process, gathering all of your documents for your visa application, I made a video on that also on all the documents that you need to apply for your visa. So start gathering all of these documents, make sure you gather all the correct documents. I would also advise that you go to the Polish website in your own country to get any updated information. Immigration policy is changing every day, so go to the website to check if there is any change in all of the documents that you need to bring. When I was coming into Poland, I was given six months visa. The people that came in this year, they were given nine months. The people that came earlier than I came in were given one year visa. So that is why I said go to the um, Polish website to get any updated information. So after gathering all of your documents for your visa, the next thing is for you to go to the Polish embassy for your interview. So on your interview date, if you've not authenticated your document before you got your admission, for those in Nigeria, maybe you are going to go to Abuja like a week to your interview date so that you can sort out your authentication. On your interview date, you can go with your authenticated document. They are going to legalize it for you. Because for Polish Embassy, you need to book a separate appointment to legalize your document and a separate appointment for your interview. But because it is difficult to get dates, I will advise that use one stone to kill two birds. So the day you are going for your visa interview, take your document, your authenticated document, to the embassy that same day. Then you pay them for the legalization. They are going to do it for you. So after going through your interview, they are going to tell you when to come back for your document, the one you submitted for legalization, and then they are also going to tell you when to come back for your visa decision. The receipt that you are giving and the photocopy of your international passport, make sure you keep it because that is what you are going to use to pick your visa decision. Congratulations, you've gotten your visa approved. The next thing you are supposed to do is to book your flight to come to Poland. And you can also watch the video I made recently about um, coming into Poland, like the things that you need to do when you arrive in Poland. So I hope this video helps you and summarize everything that you need to do when it comes to applying to universities in Poland. Thank you guys for joining me. If you watch this very end, please do well to subscribe to my channel because I'm going to upload more videos. Don't forget, as you're applying to universities, either in Poland or in any other country, always put God, always involve God in all things that you're doing. I wish you guys success because your dreams are valid. Bye!